So this is a fascinating story. And again, you will get it nowhere else. The Super Bowl game is the one event now. There's only one left. The Oscars are gone. The Grammys are gone. There is no unifying event, not even the World Series in baseball, okay, except for the Super Bowl. Everybody in the country pays attention to that game, primarily because of the parties and the social gatherings, which will be muted this year because of COVID. But the Super Bowl cuts across politics. It cuts across all boundaries. And it is a unique slice of Americana. However, it is being politicized. USA Today is a newspaper that will not be in business much longer. It's run by the Gannett Chain, which is a left-wing organization. At one time, USA Today was one of the most influential newspapers in the country. It is now barely hanging on because it went so far left that traditional Americans, eh, I'm not going to read this anymore. One of uh, the reporters, a woman named Nancy Armour, got an opportunity to ask Tom Brady a question on Zoom. I think I know what Zoom is, but, and here's how that went down. Go. Shannon Sharp said last week that he thinks that you probably would have gotten more criticism for your um, having the hat in the locker in 2015 for Trump um, had you been a black athlete or, or basically that black athletes aren't given as much room um, to weigh in on, on you know, political topics and uh, topics that could be controversial. And I'm just wondering what your thoughts are in response to that. I'm not sure how to, you know, respond to, you know, hypothetical questions like that. Um, you know, I hope everyone can, you know, uh, we're in this position like I am to, again, try to be the best I could be every day as an athlete, as a player, as a person in my community, for my team and so forth. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure what else. Now, I can read uh, Mr. Brady's mind. He goes, that's one of the dumbest questions I have ever heard in my life. And it was asked just to provoke. I mean, can you imagine... A woman saying, and I don't know whether Shannon Sharp, he is a former football player, is on TV. I don't know whether he said that black athletes aren't given as much room to weigh in on political topics. Does the name LeBron James mean anything? How about Colin Kaepernick? I mean, it's just absurd in the extreme. And the only reason that Mr. Brady was put in that position is because he had a hat in his locker, all right, a MAGA hat signed by President Trump. Now, Brady knows Trump because they play golf together uh, on occasion, as hundreds of people do. But because Trump is so loathed by USA Today and 95 percent of the corporate media, that anybody with any association to Donald Trump is going to get it right between the eyes. And that's what Nancy Armour tried to do in a back channel way, injecting race absurdly. Now, I thought Brady handled it very, very well. If it were me, you know what I would have done. Are you kidding me, lady, with that question? And then I would have explained what it was designed to do, embarrass Brady, and how fallacious it was that black athletes don't have a forum for political views. I mean, you know, do you live in Burma? I come on. But I wanted to bring that to your attention because the world of sports should be apolitical. Now, ESPN has destroyed, Disney has allowed ESPN to destroy the most powerful franchise, sports franchise in the world, by being political. It's destroyed. All right. But it still happens. Now, ABC News, they uh, weighed in on the Super Bowl in politics. Um, by saying, quote, Brady and Belichick, that's the New England Patriot coach that Brady used to work for, probably the greatest quarterback coach duo in the NFL, will forever be MAGA branded. Why? Why? I, you know, why is that even in play, ABC News? Um, ESPN. As the nation's 46th president, Biden's sentimental view of athletics and his promise to steer the nation away from political division 
should put him in a position to repair the strained relationship between the White House and much of the sports world. It's just absurd. It's dishonest. But it happens all the time, everywhere, not just in sports. But because the Super Bowl is so prominent that these reporters use the game to hammer Trump. That's what they're doing. 